Hi boys and girls, happy St. Patrick's Day. Today's teaching video is about how you can create a painting that looks like this, inspired by Robert Indiana. He's an artist that made the very famous L-O-V-E artwork. You may know it to look something like this. There are sculptures, there are paintings. This is a symbol that's all over the place. Recently, it became an artwork that is now in the public domain. So therefore, lots of people are allowed to use it and therefore you've seen it on t-shirts, posters, and everything else. But the originator of this design was Robert Indiana. We're gonna use him as our inspiration for today's artwork and we're gonna create an artwork with L Shamrock VE and the shamrock is gonna replace the O. I've done this project in lots of different ways. I've done it for Valentine's Day, now we're doing it for St. Patrick's Day, and it's a fun technique that uses masking tape, watercolor paint, and paper, and that's it. I'm gonna walk you through step by step, and my daughter, who's seven, is here with me. She created this one, and she's gonna be making it right alongside me. You can follow along with us in real time, you can pause, you can fast forward, whatever works for you. I hope you guys have a great St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're wearing green so nobody pinches you. All right, let's get to it. Okay, to start this project, my daughter and I are gonna do it together and you can follow along with us. So we have a piece of paper that is 10 inches by 10 inches. You can use whatever size you want, just make sure that it's square. So we are going to put our ruler toward the top and with a pencil, we're gonna make a mark halfway, half of 10 is five. So with our pencil, we're gonna make a little mark at five. Now we're gonna take the ruler, slide it down. So we're gonna line up the edge of our ruler right there. Hold that ruler down with your right hand. And then we're gonna make a mark at five. My little one here is a lefty, so she's going to do hers and I'm going to do mine. All right, this is a great opportunity to practice a little bit of ruler and math because this is something that's always challenging. Now we're going to turn our ruler and we're going to connect those two dots and we're going to do a very light line connecting them. So make sure top of the ruler and the bottom are touching the dots. And then we're gonna connect the lines to divide our paper in half. Keep going. Great. Okay, now we're gonna turn our paper 90 degrees and we're gonna do the same thing. So with our inches at the top, we're gonna line up our ruler. We wanna make sure that we use the mark, not the edge of the ruler. And then we're gonna make a mark at the five. And it can just be a little one. Now you can come down here, do the same thing, and make a mark down at the five. Okay, what do we do next, Preston? Connect them. Connect them, and that is going to split our paper in half, which is going to give us four what? Squares. Four squares. So we've got four quarters. Okay, go ahead. Great, all right, we can set our ruler to the side. Now, what we're gonna be doing is using tape, we are gonna write the letters L, skip, V, and E, because we're going to be writing uh, a shamrock here for the O. We're gonna be learning about Robert Indiana. So using tape, we're gonna make an L, we're gonna make a V, and we're gonna make an E. We're gonna leave this one blank for right now, okay? So Preston, I'll let you go ahead and start. You can use scissors. If you wanna make the top straight, you can. For the L, that's up to you. And we're gonna make an L with tape. Now, while we're doing that, let's talk a little bit about this paper. 
If you do this lesson the way that we're doing it, you're gonna want paper that you can paint on. So I'm using watercolor paper, but watercolor paper isn't always something we have on hand. So if you have cardstock, that will work. And you can even try it with just regular paper. Just try to find the thickest paper that you have on hand and then use your watercolor on it. We're gonna skip the O for now. We're gonna draw a V with tape. I'll give you some. Now this is just masking tape because the other thing you want to remember is that when you are putting the tape on this paper, we are ultimately gonna be taking it off. If we use, say, copy paper, this tape could tear that. So if you have painter's tape uh, laying around, you can use that, that'll really help. And that'll keep from tearing the paper. We're gonna do this you know, sort of fast so that you can watch, but you can obviously spend lots of time making your letters exactly how you want them. All right, our last letter is our what? E. E. So I'm gonna take a little tape, give that to you. So we're gonna do a capital E, because it's a little easier. Two, easier. <laughs> St. Uh, Patrick's Day. We're going to use this as a St. Patrick's Day activity. We are going to, instead of an O, we are going to make what? A shield. Yep. Let me cut that for you. Okay, so we're going to be drawing a shamrock in this space in just a minute. All right, so now we have our L, blank, V, E, all done with tape. Now what we're gonna do is with a pencil, whoops, show you that one. All right, so we're gonna draw a heart, but we're gonna leave it open. Then we're gonna draw another heart, leave it open. And then we're gonna draw another heart and leave it open. Now, we're gonna do a little angle on our two lines and then come together like a triangle. This is gonna be our shamrock. We're gonna just leave it like that and then we're gonna trace it in black Sharpie because when we paint, we don't want this next part, we don't want it to run. So I'm gonna trace mine. And then press this and trace hers. Now what we want to think about are colors that are St. Patrick's Day related, which would be what kind of colors, Presley? It would be like green. Greens and oranges. And maybe a little purple. Okay. So each one of these backgrounds is going to be a color. So one two, three, and then we're gonna color in the shamrock. If you feel like you can control the paint, you can also color the background, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Presley and I are both gonna paint. I'm gonna start with my shamrock so it gives a little time for it to dry, and then I'll come and do the background of it. Now when you use watercolor paint, the more water you use, the lighter the color will be. The less water you use, the darker the color will be. And what's really nice with watercolor paint is you get a lot of variety in color when you paint. So a nice way to approach watercolor is to let it dry, and then if you want darker areas, come back and sort of um, add more to those areas.
So now for the next part, we are gonna remove the tape. Ready?